Chapter 1871, Dragon Cemetery, 3. Shen Yangtze Hour couldn't help but feel a chill. The undead was not only an evil race, but their resurrection ability, which reversed life and death, seemed to be mocking the concept of life. It truly made people feel creepy. The reason why the undead were hated by all races was exactly because of their nasty nature and their blasphemy against life. Even the gods and devils would die one day, but the undead could rely on their strength to bring the dead back to life in the form of undead. Life was precious because you could only have it once. Being born and dying were in conformity with the natural law, but the undead violated the laws of nature and even distorted the will of the deceased, turning countless lonely souls into their slaves. Sal personally invited Minai to come forward. Minai brought Shen Yangtze out of the edge of the array. As they got closer to the array, the bloody smell directly hit their face and assailed their nostrils. Shen Yang Xiao frowned secretly, asking your highness Minai to activate the array. Sal knelt on one knee, asking your highness to activate the array. All the undead in the dragon cemetery knelt down and roared loudly. Minai took a step forward with a slight nod. This would be Shen Yang Xiao's first time seeing the undead performing resurrection. She narrowed her eyes slightly and carefully observed what was happening in front of her eyes. Minai slightly opened his mouth, then a series of obscure incantations overflowed from his mouth. The speed of his speech was slow. A second after, a strong wind mixed with black mist condensed from his feet. The black mist spread over the array, like a cluster of black flames, starting from one point and spreading in all directions. Everything was like a nightmare. The black mist hung over the whole dragon cemetery, and then it rose slowly. It was as if Shen Yangtze could hear the roar from hell and the black mist was like a twisted and horrifying face struggling inside the gale with a look of despair. The whole dragon cemetery was covered by a powerful and incomparable death energy, causing all the dragons to retreat one after another. To prevent the curse from having unexpected accident, Chen Yang Xiao must stand beside Minai, and it was equal to standing in the center of the whirlpool of death energy. The death energy pouring in from all directions almost made her unable to breathe. Every time she breathed, it was like breathing countless gravel into her lungs, and the pain caused her to break out into a cold sweat. But at present, Shen Yang Xiao dared not let Xu come out to help her. Under the gazes of so many undead, the appearance of a slight divine aura would arouse the vigilance of the undead. Shen Yang Xiao could only hold her breath and get the thin oxygen in the air with a flow of blood. Suddenly, Minai's speech sped up, and the black mist increased wildly. In this sunken cemetery, an immense black hole took shape. Even though Shen Yang Xiao's vision was beyond that of ordinary people, in such circumstances, she could barely see the blurred figure of Minai. Alongside the incantation of Minai, the ground on the Dragon Cemetery suddenly trembled violently. The sound of the earth cracking was intertwined with the rustling sound of the leaves torn by the wind. Suddenly, something strange happened to Shen Yang Xiao's body, something invisible seemed to pour into her body with the strong wind. In an instant, a tremendous pain covered her whole body, as if all the bones within were crushed in a blink. The huge pain made Shen Yang Xiao's consciousness collapse in an instant. Shen Yang Xiao's strength seemed to have been drained, she could feel two forces fiercely interweaving within her body. These two forces repelling each other almost split her body into two. Chapter 1872, Dragon Cemetery 4. Shen Yang Xiao could no longer support her body and fell to the ground instantly. She felt pain all over, leaving her unable to even move her fingers half an inch. It was as if her internal organs had been squashed, a large mouthful of blood overflowed from her mouth. In the dark and foggy dragon cemetery, no one noticed her unusual situation. What's wrong with me? Am I dying? Shen Yang Xiao's consciousness seemed to be splitting apart and the pain made her nearly faint. Xu Shen Yang Xiao gritted her teeth and whispered Xu's name, but this time she did not get any response. The pain in her body reached the peak at this moment, and Shen Yang Xiao completely fainted. A strange thing suddenly happened in the dark fog-filled dragon cemetery. While Minai was focused on resurrecting the dragons, all of a sudden, he felt another strong force spreading to the whole array at a crazy speed. What's the matter? Standing at the periphery. Sal noticed a slight abnormality. The whole atmosphere started to fill with suffocating death energy, which was different from that of Minai, 
and much more powerful. But what shocked Sal even more was that, in the midst of this chaos, he felt the power that made him tremble in fear, the divine power. What is this? The divine power permeated the air. This power that belonged to the gods had an inherent restraint over the undead. At this moment, almost every undead felt a great discomfort. There's a change in the array. Your Highness, stop. Sal exclaimed under the atmosphere flooded with divine power. But it was already too late for Minai to stop. The moment Sal's voice sounded, the last note of the resurrection spell was uttered. The whole array suddenly emitted a glaring light which thoroughly illuminated the dark dragon cemetery. Horse and exhausted dragon cries burst out through the light and went straight to the sky. In the dazzling light, two figures appeared quietly. Master. The million bird was originally in Shen Yang Xiao's body, but the moment Shen Yang Xiao fainted, he was forced out of her heart lake, and the one who had been pushed out together with Vermilion Bird was Xu. He narrowed his eyes slightly. There was a tension in his cold golden eyes. He looked for Shen Yang Xiao's figure in the dazzling light and he vaguely saw Shen Yang Xiao lying on the ground as her body trembled all over. Xu immediately reached out his hand. Bang! A loud noise exploded in the Dragon Cemetery and a powerful shock wave burst through the whole cemetery. The first one to be affected was Minai. But just at the moment when Minai was about to suffer from the hand of death, a hoarse and resentful grumble was heard from Minai's body. Then, a huge black shadow erupted from the body of Minai, covering the whole dragon cemetery in the blink of an eye. The chaotic and noisy dragon cemetery was shrouded in darkness in an instant. All the voices disappeared. Only a still silence remained. When the darkness faded, the whole dragon cemetery changed dramatically. In the desolate cemetery, giant bone dragons stood in the forest one after another, which densely filled the whole cemetery to the extreme. The resurrection had been completed. When these bone dragons appeared, the dragons present were all stunned in place. They found that all the undead in the whole dragon cemetery had disappeared without a trace. They only saw a tall figure standing among the bone dragons, with a terrifying aura all over him. Little Xiao, Chapter 1873, Dragon Cemetery, 5 Where have all the undead gone? Long Yan panicked as he looked at everything in front of him. The undead had disappeared collectively, but the bone dragons stood motionless in place. What frightened him even more was the dark-haired man who stood among the bone dragons and looked extremely dazzling. He just stood there quietly but he made Long Yan feel as if the bones all over his body were tingling. Xi stood in the same place, for the first time, his golden eyes set off a great disturbance. He looked at his stiff and empty hands. The figure that was clearly within his reach had disappeared before his eyes. Just a little? Just a little more and he could have grabbed her. Who are you? Why are you here? Long Yan looked at the figure that made him feel fear. Xu, who was still in his original posture, did not give any response. He slowly got up and his tall figure was now floating in midair. He closed his eyes and felt Shen Yang Xiao's aura, but when he sensed nothing, it was as if his heart were suddenly clutched by someone. They had already known each other for a long time and this was the first time that he was unable to feel Shen Yang Xiao's aura. She seemed to have completely disappeared from the world, leaving no trace. Master. Where did Master go? Vermilion Bird looked at the empty ground in horror. He looked up at Xu and his eyes were filled with uneasiness. Xu opened his eyes, the loud voice of Long Yan kept ringing in his ear. The cold as snow golden eyes suddenly looked at Long Yan's figure. When Long Yan saw those golden eyes, he became stiff and could not move at all. Golden eyes. That was the symbol of the gods. How can this be Long Yan muttered incredulously. You wretched. Cold words that could break even ice into pieces of slags overflowed from Xu's mouth. He slowly raised his hand and Long Yan, who was in the distance, seemed to have been gripped around the neck by a hand and was carried up in the air. Long Yan's eyes widened in horror, as an eight-winged golden dragon, he actually could not muster up the strength to break away. In the name of God, your soul will be destroyed, you can't enter the reincarnation cycle, you are not allowed to have a rebirth, you will forever perish in this heaven and earth. The heart-piercing, chilling voice echoed over the entire dragon cemetery. At the moment when the last word fell to the ground, Long Yan's tough body burst in a heartbeat and bright red blood splashed everywhere. In the name of God the curse of eternal destruction fell on Long Yan. From now on, 
there would be no trace of Long Yan in the world. His soul was completely destroyed and he could never again reincarnate. Throughout his life, Xu's hands were stained with blood. Countless devils had died under his hands, but he had never cursed any defeated devil generals. However, today he was completely angered. Shen Yang Xiao disappeared in front of his very eyes and he could not find any trace of her. This was the result of the ignorant dragons and the lowly group of undead. Lord Xu, Master. Where on earth has the Master gone? I why can't I feel her aura? My spiritual connection with her has also been cut off. The million bird looked at Xu. He couldn't believe what had happened. It was like Shen Yang Xiao had died. What about Toti? Xu's cold voice had reached the freezing point. I don't know. Xu frowned slightly. The anger in his heart, at this moment, weakened a bit. She's still alive. Xu suddenly said. What? The million bird was stunned. Even Xu had been freed from her body. Wasn't that proof that his master had already? Toti did not appear. He must still be in little Xiao's body. Little Xiao is still alive. Chapter 1874, has become a real undead. 1. Shen Yang Xiao felt like she had slept for a long, long time. Her limbs were stiff, her brain was buzzing, and she struggled to open her sore eyes. A little face, full of worry, appeared before her eyes, Toti. Shen Yang Xiao rubbed her head and sat up, looking at the tearful Toti in surprise. This foodie was looking so distressed all of a sudden, she was kind of not used to it. Master, you're awake. You're finally awake. After confirming that Shen Yang Xiao had regained her consciousness, Toti burst into tears and plunged into Shen Yang Xiao's embrace. All right, don't cry, am I not awake now? Shen Yang Xiao quietly pacified the weeping Toti. She did not know what had happened, nor why she had suddenly undergone such drastic changes. Toti raised his head, and his little face covered with tears was slightly pale. Master, the million bird has disappeared and Lord Xu has disappeared as well. Toti said with a sobbing voice, What did you say? Shen Yang Xiao was completely dumbstruck. She immediately tried to contact Xu and Million Bird in her heart lake, but here there was only a dead silence, without a trace of any figure. How could this be? Shen Yang Xiao once again tried to carry out a spiritual connection with Million Bird, but she found that the mark of Million Bird that had blended with her spirit had disappeared. The only one she could maintain a spiritual link with was Toti. I can't reach Vermilion Bird Shen Yang Xiao bit her lip. What happened in the end, that things would actually become like this? While Shen Yang Xiao was full of questions, the sound of footsteps suddenly echoed. Toti seemed to sense something. He quickly turned into mist and returned to Shen Yang Xiao's body. Shen Yang Xiao still could not respond to what was going on when the door was roughly pushed open. A low undead in grey sackcloth looked doubtfully at Shen Yang Xiao who was already sitting up. Undead. Shen Yang Xiao was shocked. But before she could act, the low undead had already said, Oh, your luck is good to be able to wake up. As a low undead, for you to actually survive the accident, little guy, your luck is quite good. With a tone of mockery, the undead walked over to her. Shen Yang Xiao, however, was stunned by what he said. What did he say she was? Shen Yang Xiao had an ominous foreboding. She lowered her head and looked at her hands, which made her almost choke to death. Wasn't this the iconic pair of whitish grey hands belonging to the low undead? Shen Yang Xiao could be sure that this current pair of hands was absolutely not the effect of any appearance changing potion. She used an appearance changing potion to make herself transform into Yi Du and make her physique much bigger than her real self, yet her hands right now were clearly a circle smaller than the effect of the appearance changing potion. Her physique was exactly the same as her original one. That meant she has become a real undead. Tsitsi. Now that you're awake, you can fend for yourself. These are the bone coins my lord sent to survivors like you. It's a reward for your efforts in the hidden dragon continent. Little guy, if your injuries are now good, hurry and take the money, then get lost. This is not a place for you to enjoy. The low undead obviously had no patience to talk nonsense with Shen Yang Xiao. With a frown, he explained just a few words, tossed a small purse on the ground and turned to leave. Chapter 1875, has become a real undead, too. After the low undead left, 
Toti immediately flew out of Shen Yang Xiao's body again. He squatted obediently beside Shen Yang Xiao's bed and looked at her with his clear eyes. Where are we? Shen Yang Xiao covered her head. As soon as she woke up, she was faced with such a huge amount of information. Even if her brain were a supercomputer, she still could not process all this in such a short amount of time. It seems to be the howling abyss. Toti honestly answered. Shen Yang Xiao's mouth twitched slightly as she exclaimed, How? Howling abyss? Exclamation mark. After sleeping for a while, not only did she become an undead, but she was also brought to the continent of the undead from the distant hidden dragon continent, who would tell her how this had happened. Was she dreaming? She must have not woken up yet. Toti, do you know what happened? I why did I become like this, and how did I arrive in the howling abyss? Had she been sleeping for more than a month? Toti pursed his lips and replied, I am not very clear. That day in the dragon cemetery, Master's body suddenly changed greatly. There is a lot of dark energy flowing in your body. That energy and the divine power in Master's body repelled each other. It was not long before Vermilion Bird and Lord Xu disappeared. Then I felt that a very, very strong force of death had enveloped Master. After that, the divine power in Master's body seems to have been suppressed by that force and the dark energy occupied Master's body completely, after which Master became like this, then the force brought Master to Howling Abyss in an instant. Toti worked hard to explain things methodically, spelling out everything he knew. Shen Yang Xiao frowned a little. It seemed that the undead blood in her body had suddenly awakened, and this awakening was most likely triggered by the huge array drawn by the undead in the dragon cemetery. But, what had happened to Vermilion Bird and Xu? Furthermore, what was that force and why did it send her instantaneously to the howling abyss which was thousands of miles away? Whatever the reason was, the only thing Shen Yang Xiao could be sure of now was that she could not get in touch with Vermilion Bird and Xu. Damn it, how could I end up in the howling abyss? Shen Yang Xiao was depressed. She had experienced a terrible pain that day. She had no way to know what had happened. Toti obviously knew some, but understood only half of it. If she wanted to know her own exact situation, she had to figure it out herself. Shen Yang Xiao stood up and observed the interior of the room. It was small and dark. There was only one bed within. Shen Yang Xiao picked up the purse which had been thrown on the ground, looked inside and found that there were almost 100 bone coins. The Lord of the Undead sent rewards to the survivors, survivors Shen Yang Xiao narrowed her eyes, as if she had guessed something. She had never dared to kill Minai because she knew that the Lord of the Undead must have put some protective spells on him, the one who could transport them from the distant hidden dragon continent to the howling abyss in an instant, she feared only the Lord of the Undead could do it. Just what exactly happened in the Dragon Cemetery? Is it because Minai's life was threatened that the protective spell of the Undead Lord on Minai's body suddenly activated and transported him together with all the undead back here? Shen Yang Xiao bit her fingertip. The lack of information made it difficult for her to tell what was going on, but there was a more serious problem in front of her. Chapter 1876 has become a real undead. 3 has become a real undead, 3 I have to survive in the howling abyss as an undead. Shen Yang Xiao stroked her chin. She was now an undead, and she was currently in the territory of the undead. If she did not want to be found out by them, she must learn to survive here before she could find a way to leave. Shen Yang Xiao checked the seal on her arm. 7 marks, each race was represented by different colors. Shen Yang Xiao had not paid attention to these marks for a long time. But Xu wasn't with her right now, so she must learn to observe her own situation. Of the seven marks on her arms, only one layer was grey, while the other six still retained the light golden colour of the dragon race. If I could unlock all the layers of the undead seal, I would be able to change my racial form. Shen Yang Xiao curled up her lips. The situation was not too bad, at least she was sent to the howling abyss in the form of an undead. If she were in dragon or human form, she would be killed by the undead before she could even wake up. Shen Yang Xiao had now unraveled the seals of three races, human beings, elves, and dragons. After the undead seal had been completely lifted, she would be free to transform into any race that had been removed already. Once she changed into a dragon, it would no longer be impossible to fly back to the hidden dragon continent given the speed of the dragons. The situation is still optimistic.
Shen Yang Xiao had a slight smile on her face. Toti, from the side, looked at Shen Yang Xiao. He then carefully reached out and pulled her sleeve. Master, neither Lord Xu nor the Million Bird is here? Toti asks in a low voice. They should still be in Hidden Dragon Continent. Rest assured, we will return one day. Shen Yang Xiao smiled and touched the small head of Toti. This time, she was transported to the Howling Abyss and was forced to separate from Vermilion Bird. She reckoned that Vermilion Bird would explode in anger again. So there's only me and Master here? Toti raised his head and looked at Shen Yang Xiao. Yes. This time, she really had to rely on herself. Shen Yang Xiao took a deep breath. For the first time, she lost the guidance of Xu and had to face everything in the Howling Abyss by herself. Toti bit his lip and suddenly his eyes became firm. I will protect Master and not let the undead hurt you. Shen Yang Xiao looked at Toti in surprise. This foodie, who was immersed in eating all day, actually decided to step forward at this time. Good. Shen Yang Xiao smiled. She was really proud that this foodie had given up eating in order to protect her. However, as a magical beast, Toti should not be too ostentatious in the world of the undead. The two of them were isolated and without help in the howling abyss, it was better to conceal their strength and bide their time. Shen Yang Xiao examined the magic and duchi in her body, but to her dismay, there was not even a trace of magic nor duchi left within her. Instead, there was only a thin and poor death energy. Shen Yang Xiao felt helpless. This was not the first time the other blood in her body had awakened but this definitely was the most tragic one. Apparently, her powers belonging to human beings, elves, and dragons had all vanished without a trace, and her present physical condition was no different from an ordinary low undead. Shen Yang Xiao had the urge to die. The awakening of her undead blood was too cruel. When her dragon blood had awakened, she was only able to become a dragon after the dragon seal was completely unraveled. Now this was just great. Not only had she turned into an undead as soon as this blood awakened, even the strength of her body had totally changed. Could it be that God was really toying with her? Chapter 1877, has become a real undead, for she had no power. She was a low undead, and she was in a completely unfamiliar continent where she had to live the completely unfamiliar life of an undead. Shen Yang Xiao felt that her life was full of tragedies. But no matter how tragic it was, Shen Yang Xiao could not give up. After sorting out her mood, Shen Yang Xiao let herself relax. The present situation was the same as when she had just crossed over to this world. She was also helpless and powerless then. At that time, there was Xi around her, but now, Shen Yang Xiao looked at Toti with an earnest look on his face and felt warmth in her heart. At least there was still Toti by her side, right? Starting over again is really not that big of a deal. If I am stumped by this problem, how can I face Xi and Vermilion Bird once I go back? Shen Yang Xiao exercised her muscles and bones. This was not the time for her to be passive. After checking the items on her body, Shen Yang Xiao breathed a sigh of relief. When she was transported, none of them were lost. Luckily, the several storage rings were still intact in her clothes. As long as there were things in her storage rings, she should not be unable to walk in the howling abyss. She looked for new clothes to change into. Shen Yang Xiao then put away the purse containing bone coins. There's nothing wrong with being an undead. At least I can save some appearance changing potions. Shen Yang Xiao who found joy in sorrow, tidied up her things. She then called Toti back into her body, walked to the door and pushed it open. Outside the door was one shabby shed made of straws. The small room where Shen Yang Xiao rested before was also a thatched hut. On the side of the shed, one could see other large and small thatched huts. Several ragged clothed low undead were sitting under the shed. Their eyes had a gloomy expression and when Shen Yang Xiao appeared, they just glanced at her casually and then gathered together to chat with each other. Shen Yang Xiao quietly walked over to the side of these undead and secretly listened to the contents of their conversation. These undead were also transported back from the hidden dragon continent. They were talking about that place. Shen Yang Xiao listened quietly and learned from the mouths of these undead that the truth of the matter was similar to what she had guessed. Midway through the process of resurrection in the dragon cemetery, unexpectedly, a huge distortion appeared in the whole resurrection array. This distortion directly produced a huge explosion of energy. At the critical moment, 
the protection spell that the undead lord had put on Prince Minai activated. A second before the explosion, all the undead in the dragon cemetery were transported back to the howling abyss. But even before the explosion, the energy fluctuations in the array had caused damage to many undead. The injured undead had been placed everywhere for self-cultivation. Where Shen Yang Xiao was placed was the area for the low undead to recuperate, which seemed to be no different from refugee camps. In addition to the low undead, Prince Minai also suffered from a backlash effect due to these fluctuations. So far, he was still unconscious. The undead lord had begun to ask all the high undead present on that day as to what exactly happened. As for them, the low undead, if the undead lord had not opened his mouth to treat them, they would have been thrown into mass graves to fend for themselves. Understanding the general situation, Shen Yang Xiao did not stay there much longer. She had to find out where she was now in the howling abyss before she could find ways to enhance her strength. Without the help of Xu, Shen Yang Xiao could only rely on her own growth to unravel the undead seal. Chapter 1878 Law of the Undead Survival 1 Shen Yang Xiao was now located in a city called Zalano, which was not far from the main city of the undead. Zalano was a small city. Most of the undead living here were low and intermediate undead. Only the owner of the city was a high undead. After leaving the rest area, Shen Yang Xiao had to live in such a strange city. She first found an inn and stayed there for three bone coins a day. In the society of the undead, the purchasing power of bone coins was very strong. Shen Yang Xiao still had enough bone coins to cope for some time. Although, as a thief, she did not have to worry about money at all. Right now it was more important for her to find ways to enhance her strength and unravel the seal. If Xiu were here, she might have learned how the undead cultivated from him, but for now she could only rely on herself. After booking the room, Shen Yang Xiao decided to take a stroll around the city to see if she could find some clues. Walking on the street full of undead, Shen Yang Xiao felt very complicated. Are you a human? Suddenly, a voice came from behind Shen Yang Xiao. Shen Yang Xiao was startled and subconsciously put up her guard. But soon, she realized that her reaction was a little too drastic. She had already become a real undead, how could she possibly still look like a human? Shen Yang Xiao laughed at herself inside and continued to walk forward. Hey, wait a minute. The cry came again from behind. Shen Yang Xiao frowned slightly and hesitantly turned her head around. A young undead with gray skin was trotting all the way towards her. You, don't run. I just want to ask you something. Don't be nervous. The undead youth smiled and walked to Shen Yang Xiao. His handsome facial features, even with that gray skin, would not make people find him disgusting. As far as the undead were concerned, the man in front of her felt too neat and clean. What's the matter? Shen Yang Xiao was not sure of the other party's intentions. She only reacted subconsciously because of him muttering the word human. Hey, kid. Don't be afraid, I'm also an undead resurrected from the soul of a human. I just haven't seen another resurrected human soul for a long time, so I wanted to talk to you. The handsome youth showed a bright smile, and his white teeth were very dazzling in the sunshine. Shen Yang Xiao's mouth twitched slightly. So this fellow was just emotional from seeing someone like him before? She looked up and down at the young undead in front of her. Low and intermediate undead were born from resurrection. Many of them lived as other races before they died. Before the battle of gods and devils, the undead were opposed by other races, but they were not at the point where they would go to war with them. At that time, Many high undead would sneak into the graves of human beings and resurrect their corpses into their own kind. But after the battle between gods and devils the undead, like other races, had disappeared from the human continent. They enclosed themselves in the howling abyss, practically cutting off the possibility of resurrecting other dead bodies to fill their own ranks. Looking at the young undead in front of her, Shen Yang Xiao tilted her head slightly. He seemed to be only in his early twenties. The resurrected corpses would remain as they were before death, and it was clear that the young man was still very young when he died. Is that all? Shen Yang Xiao pulled up the corner of her lips. She was not interested in talking to the undead. She might have stopped her footsteps, but she did not want to cause a commotion. Chapter 1879, The Law of Survival for Undead 
too. The undead youth was slightly stunned. He looked at Shen Yang Xiao somewhat helplessly. I'm sorry, I, I just haven't met any kin in a long time. So the undead youth lowered his head in embarrassment. Shen Yang Xiao raised her eyebrows slightly. Kin, the young man said, although, although I was resurrected a long time ago as a low undead, my heart has always thought that I am human and that this body is not the real me. Lo undead, Shen Yang Xiao looked at the undead youth in surprise. The death energy emanating from him was much stronger than her own. Shen Yang Xiao easily perceived that the other party was an intermediate undead. You are an intermediate undead, though. Shen Yang Xiao uttered. The undead youth was stunned for a moment and then said, When I was just resurrected, I was only a low undead. Shen Yang Xiao's eyes lit up when she heard his response. Can you tell me how to cultivate? You don't know? The undead youth obviously did not expect that the other party would ask him such a question. I don't know. Shen Yang Xiao nodded honestly. Actually, she did not have any bad feelings toward this undead resurrected from a human being. Strange. The high undead that resurrected you did not ever tell you about it? The undead youth grabbed his head and was a bit baffled. In fact, there were two ways to resurrect a corpse. One was to preserve the soul and memories of the deceased, while the other was to resurrect the dead body and directly make them into a puppet. The latter kind of resurrection consumed much less for the undead, and many high undead would adopt this way, while the former one was somewhat special. The soul preserving resurrection was usually used to fill the number of the undead. After being resurrected, the undead that resurrected them would also be responsible for telling them about the laws to survive as an undead. But the little undead in front of him seemed to know nothing about it. Can you tell me about it? Shen Yang Xiao looked at the undead youth who had a doubtful face and asked him once again. Well, in fact, it's nothing difficult. As long as you can get the nucleus of undead creatures, you can absorb the power in it. The undead youth said. Shen Yang Xiao knew that the undead creatures in the undead youth's mouth were in fact similar to the magical beasts in the Radiance Continent. Some of them were born naturally, while some of them were also resurrected by the undead. Like magical beasts, each undead creature had a nucleus in their bodies that contained power, which could only be removed after killing them. This kind of thing also existed in the demons. In the past, Shen Yang Xiao did not run around any less to collect this thing in order to accumulate the first strength of Xu. However, Shen Yang Xiao did not think that after she became an undead, she would again have to rely on this kind of thing to enhance her strength. It's just that, undead creatures are very ferocious, they're not something you can deal with. If you have money, you can go to the shops to buy some. The undead youth closed his mouth halfway. He noticed that the clothes of the little undead in front of him were very shabby. It didn't seem like this petite undead had huge assets at all. The dark nucleus was very precious to the low and intermediate undead. Each and every one of them was being sold at a high price. So for such a little fellow to buy the dark nucleus it seemed a little difficult. Shen Yang Xiao did not notice the sympathetic eyes of the undead youth. She just narrowed her own eyes and thought about where she could go to get some of these nuclei, so as to give her fragile to the extreme body a good tonic. Chapter 1880, The Law of Survival for Undead, 3 According to the undead youth, Shen Yang Xiao felt that the most convenient way to get the nucleus was to steal it. She never considered spending money to buy things from the undead. After thinking for a moment, Shen Yang Xiao raised her feet, ready to go, directly leaving the young undead who hadn't yet finished his words behind. The undead youth stared blankly at the little fellow who was about to go and he rushed up at once. Wait a minute. The undead youth pressed Shen Yang Xiao's shoulder with one hand. Shen Yang Xiao frowned and turned her head at him. Why was this fellow not letting her go yet? Seeing Shen Yang Xiao's eyes full of aversion, the young man swallowed his saliva and took back his hand. Why were the eyes of this little fellow so frightening? Based on his memories, human children were very friendly and lovely. You don't know anything. It's dangerous, I, I have the law of survival for undead here. You you can take it and have a look at it. It's of no use to me anymore anyway. The undead youth took out a black book from his bag and carefully handed it to Shen Yang Xiao. He just felt that because he seldom saw any kin, he had to try to be close. But the little fellow in front of him seemed to not like his approach. Still, 
he couldn't bear to see such an ignorant little fellow fall into harm. The undead youth's brain had become a lump of paste. After he stuffed the book into Shen Yang Xiao's hands, he made a very surprising move, turning around and running away at a fast speed. Shen Yang Xiao was speechless. She looked at the book in her hand, and then looked at the back of the figure that hurriedly disappeared, leaving only dust on the ground. She then felt the urge to both laugh and cry at the same time. Fine. Although she didn't like the undead, that undead youth with human thoughts was really not annoying. Shen Yang Xiao looked at the book in her hands. On its black cover, six large golden letters were written. The Law of Survival for Undead? Shen Yang Xiao raised an eyebrow and turned to the first page. She saw two bold and vigorous words written on the inside of the page. Su Jingfeng. That was written in the human language. These two words were obviously the name of the young undead when he was in the human world. Even if he had already become an undead, Su Jingfeng still did not forget his original human side. Thank you. Shen Yang Xiao looked at the direction where Su Jingfeng left and said in a low voice, Obtaining this book, Shen Yang Xiao was no longer in the mood to continue to wander around. She went directly back to the inn closed the door of her room and began to study. This book was apparently aimed at resurrected undead. It had the records of the normal life of the undead. After being resurrected, all the undead could only be low undead. Only by constantly absorbing the death energy within a dark nucleus could they enhance their own death energy and gradually evolve from a low undead to an intermediate one. It was also recorded in the book that the intermediate undead was almost the highest realm that these non pure breed undead could achieve. Shen Yang Xiao calculated according to the several previous situations where she unraveled her seal. If she wanted to unlock all the layers of the undead seal, she must reach the peak of the high undead. I should not be a non pure breed undead, right? Shen Yang Xiao stroked her chin. Her condition was special. She was not resurrected by the undead, nor was she a natural born undead. Nevertheless, she could confirm that the blood of the undead that had been integrated into her body would never belong to a low undead. It could be surmised from her dragon blood that the other racial forces that the warlocks had integrated into her body were almost all top notch. 